one of the most used tools that we use in our business is going to be the DeWalt cordless drill. Now, there's nothing special about DeWalt. I'm sure you can use whatever drill you want. We just so happen to choose that one and we actually have four of them. Each one has its own separate set, so we're not interchanging anything. So you can purchase anything that you want if you have anything laying around. If it is cordless or not, you can use whatever drill you have as long as the attachments fit. So we primarily use it on the interior of, of detailing. We actually don't use it at all on the exterior, not on tires, not on fenders, not on wheels. We primarily use it on the interior when we're either loosening up the debris in the vacuuming phase or on the agitation phase, whether we're extracting or using something like NCAP to do a light cleaning. Now there's a lot of those brush attachments on Amazon. Uh, there's literally so many. So I'll just link the ones that I use down below. Uh, you can also find the drill that I'm using down there. But there's, there's so many, like the, the one that we ordered right now, the new set, it's a bit different than the ones that we have on the other one. And I couldn't find the last one that I purchased, but there's some, I, I don't know, like I, I don't know if we'll end up liking these or not, but I'll just link them down below. Um, because that's, that's the one I purchased. So we'll keep on using it. And if I update it in the future, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but everything will be linked down below. So I'm gonna base this review and how we use it off the DeWalt that we use. When we purchase it, it comes with two standard batteries. I might as well just grab it. It comes with two standard, two standard batteries and a charging port or whatever you wanna call it. Now, what we've noticed is these die very fast, the ones that it come with. So we're not a fan of them. We have them like on standby, but we don't really even charge them anymore. That's because we go with the upgraded I might as well grab that too. We go to the upgraded, um, whatever you want to call these, the four, eight, what's the difference? I don't know. I just know that these are, these are, these are superior to these die really. So, you know, obviously when you first purchase it, it's going to do well, it's going to, you know, last and whatever, but the battery life diminishes very fast on these, even with the one that Lex has. So these are superior. These hold the charge much longer. We don't have to charge them as frequently. Of course they come at a price tag. I think these, a pack is 144 and we now have three packs. So you're looking at almost $600 in just batteries alone. But again, it's one of those things where a, a going cordless does, I'm gonna put these down. Now it does help for it to be cordless. Um, again, if you have a corded one, no problem with that. Keep on using that. But it does help just to be able to use it like this without having to be attached to anything, right? So if we're gonna, if we're in the, um, in the vacuuming phase, right? You'll just open it put this in, lock it in, right? And then get to work. And then once you're done with that one, let me toss that right there, score. You put this in and then you, you use this. Now, it helps a lot because again, you don't have to fight in the cord, moving it around the vehicle, you know, threading it through the interior. Um, you literally just grab it, slap on the battery and you're good to go. So with this one, you can check, you can check the battery life. If you can see, you can check the battery life down here, which is very useful. I actually didn't know that it had that feature until like a month ago. So this, I mean, this is a workhorse of ours. Now I just remembered that we actually do use it for one thing on the exterior and that's going to be for removing like brittle, ugly, old clear bra from vehicles. And that's when we use something like this, like this eraser wheel. There's plenty, there's a few options out there, but this is the one that I have here in my bag. Um, so this, and this actually doesn't fit. Um, but um, that's the only other thing that we use for on the exterior is removing old, brittled, chipped away clear bra from the paint. We don't use it on tires. We don't use it like to clean the fenders. Not that it doesn't work, not that I don't like it. Just, we don't do that route. Um, I see other detailers do it. That's fine if you like it. We just personally do not. Now with the kit that I just purchased, it comes with two of each. 
Um, you know, there's not a universal standard of like what color matches what aggressiveness. So like the last one that I purchased, the one that I just showed you, um, those are meant to be soft bristles and they, they are like, they're, they're not gonna damage the fabric. This one, I don't know if it's just because I've used that one for so long that they've now kind of, you know, um, let, you know the, the aggressiveness has kind of lessened. But this one feels a bit more aggressive, even though it's stated that it's, 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 it's their most soft bristles, it still feels a little rigid. I don't know if it's just, I gotta break them in, I'm not sure. And it comes with like this smaller one, this extension. It's, up until this point, like we, we don't have, we didn't have like this small one or the extension. We only used the white brush and that's it. Like we don't have it, like the, the white brush and the toilet bowl looking thing. Um, I'll test this one out and see if it's the same. The red one that I have and the yellow one that Lex has is actually a bit more aggressive, allegedly, than the white one. But again, there's no like universal standard. So I don't know if this white softness is supposed to be the same as that white softness, which, you know, like there's no standard. So it's, it's whatever they make them. And most of these are the same. Like there's so many different brands on there. But they're all, they're all the same. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they all come out the same factory. Now, of course, you only really need this tool if you do a lot of interiors. If you're primarily doing corrections and coding, well, you know, maybe you can get by with a cord of a corded if you already have it laying around. Or if you have like a Grits Garage six inch polisher, you can throw in a carpet attachment from Porter Cable, I believe. Um, so there's always workarounds if you don't have the cord or, or you don't offer the services frequently enough to where you justify that purchase. But if you watched my last video, which you should watch every video, is that I do recommend you go cordless with some item, and this is one that I would definitely recommend. You go cordless because it's so simple to just, to just grab the drill out of your bag and get to wherever you are that you need to be and start working with little downtime with not much interruptions of I gotta move this and I gotta move that and yada yada this and you just get it, get to work. Now we have used it on leather seats, but it's been very, very few times that we actually have done that. Um, not that it's overly aggressive, but we'd rather just use the uh, interior scrub pads that still get it done very fast. And it just, I don't know, we just don't really use it. You can, like, it does work, but you have to make sure it's the right type of leather. As far as like, it's not old, it's not, cr it's not cracking, it's not, you know, like it's still in a good condition where it can handle, not that it's aggressive, but the aggressiveness, even though it's super, not aggressive if that makes any sense so we you can like it's possible we've done it we just typically stick we stick to our interior scrub pads and not the brush but i'm more than certain that you can if you really dedicate like a single soft brush to it i'm sure you can make it happen on door panels we do use it when it's necessary and it needs a lot of work um but that's again when it really costs for it, it, it whether it's plastic or if it's fabric and it needs to be like extracted or something but most of the time, I'd say nine out of 10 times, we're just gonna use brushes and scrub pads and the air compressor. But when needed, when we need to go to that, when we need to take it to that length, when it's just terribly bad, we'll use a drill brush on the door panels. The toilet, bo toilet, the toilet bowl attachment, that one, it looks aggressive. Again, if you purchase like the most aggressive brush that you can that whoever, what company offers, then I'm sure you can get too aggressive. Um, but for us, we, have, we haven't had a problem. It's just there to loosen up the debris and pet hair and whatever it may be. Now, of course, common sense logic is that if you have a floor mat or carpeting or seat that's in bad condition, right? The fibers are already frayed or there's like missing chunks of the interior or you know anything other than, the, anything less than ideal conditions of the fabric that you're cleaning, you're just gonna be cognizant of it and not just go directly over it. You're gonna avoid it. You're gonna lessen the speed or just not touch it at all. So obviously apply common sense to where, okay, this fabric isn't in good condition anyhow. So I'm just not gonna use it all together on that specific area. And that's just the best way to go about it. Now, could you use this to apply wax or sealants? Um, again, I'm sure you can if you get the proper pad, if you get the proper attachment. Why don't we? Well, because we have a dedicated uh, cordless polisher from AutoZone that's like 150 bucks. That we, that we specifically use just to apply the wax and sealant. So we already have a designated tool for that. Um, so if you wanted to look for it, I'm more than certain you could apply a wax or sealant with a finishing pad or you know a, 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 the proper pad for the paintwork. All right, and out in the video right here, I think I've covered all the talking points about this drill. We use it all the time. It's, it's, a, it's a very useful tool in our business and hopefully I was able to cover what you needed to hear. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about how we use it or why or where or whatever, 
leave them in the comment section down below. You can check the description box down below for the links to the tools I mentioned, um, to my podcast, the Detailing Business Class podcast, to my Detail Guru Facebook training group, and everything else that I have and or, or I'm working on can be found in the description box down below. I'll talk to everyone on the next one.